Dixon with the ball right now for the Thunder. And here for Church to the far side for Dane Dobie. He gets a pick. There's the roll. There's the shot. There's the goal. It's 1-0. Langley 1-15 into this one. Kinnear had five goals in the opening game. A little quieter in games two and three. And now he gets things rolling. 1-15 into the first period. Not unfamiliar territory for the Lakers, though. They've allowed the first goal this entire series, including last night. But they wanted that quick start. We talked about them needing the lead and never looking back. Well, now they're going to have to play catch up as we take a look at that nice pick and roll. And now it's going to be Austin Hazen to Corey Vitarelli. Vitarelli out in front, a shot by Holger. He scores. The popcorn bandit strikes early, and it's a 1 1 lacrosse game. That only took 16 seconds for the Lakers to respond, and it's Thomas Hogarth. He had four goals on his return in game two, left off the score sheet last night, and then he picks up where he left off a couple games ago, fine in the back of the net, a nice dish coming from Corey Vitarelli. Here's Dixon, Dixon coming in, couple fakes, he shoots and he scores, it's 2-1 Langley. Dixon knew it was in right away. Nobody else knew where the ball was, including the referee right at the side of the net. Dixon does the little celly pump. So take a look at one of the Langley fans here at the Memorial Center. And then Curtis Dixon splitting the D, makes one move, and then we'll see a better angle, how he drops it over top of the shoulder of Matt Vince when it looked like there was no room whatsoever. Yeah, good shot there too, lots of great uh... Replays for you, takes the bounce. He's going to head to the goal and then decides to drop it for Sean Evans. He scores! <laughs> One point closer to the Man Cup record. Sean Evans ties this game at two. That all starts in the back end with a Dane Doby giveaway. And then the Lakers take advantage at the other end. Great heads up play, hanging on to that ball, waiting for the man. He knew he couldn't get the shot off, so he waited for Sean Evans, and Evie buries it into that top corner. He is six points back now from John Tavares on the Man Cup all-time points list. To take it, Tony. Good Tony. Off to his brother, Holden shoots, he scores! Katoni from Katoni, and Evans is 3-2 Peterborough. Holden Katoni picking up his ninth goal of the series and 20th point as the Lakers take a 3-2 lead. Nice dish from his brother Tate Katoni, and look at Holden, he just finds that opening and goes right over top of the defender. You see Tate doing the work, though, to set it up. Robinson gets it over here to Church. And Church got a little room, shoots, oh, he scores! It popped out right away. Matt Vince says, I don't know about that. Fans in behind are waving it off, but uh, they don't count, so it's a 3-3 game. Looks like it came in and went right back out. To me, it happened so quick. But Robert Church, a great player for this Langley Thunder team. And he just decides to do it all himself. And we'll see from our other angles here. We've got some better looks. And that is in. So 3-3, tied once again. The Lakers have the ball in the corners. Hogarth, double team. Tutton trying to find it in the corner. Pops it back here for Gilray. Curtis Dixon, the former Peterborough Laker, takes a sidearm shot, he scores! Dixon, from way out, gives the Thunder a 4-3 lead. Curtis Dixon picking up his second goal of the game, 12th goal of the series. He has 25 points already in this Man Cup. And the Langley Thunder restore their one goal lead. And you'll see Dixon on the near side, he just hangs on to it, waits for a little bit of a pick. And instead of the pick coming to him, he just circles around. And on the run, that nice low shot that we've seen from Curtis Dixon. Very hard ball to stop. And 
Trying to grab it is Sweeting, but it'll be played here by Scanlon. He shoots, he scores! Another one for the Thunder. Three on answer. They lead it 5-3. to three. Frank Shiliano will pick up an assist on this one. The big launch from the goaltender all the way down to Robert Church. Church gets it off the glass and then turns right away to see Scanlon. And then Scanlon, watch him. He just circles around, a little bit of a screen from the defender, and then he goes into that bottom corner, and it's 5-3 Langley. Battle for the ball, and the Lakers will get it. Here's Doby. Shoots, he scores. Sneaks it past Vince on the power play. And it's now 6-3 Langley. Less than a minute into the man advantage. Langley has doubled up on the Lakers. It's 6-3. Just under five minutes left to go in that first period. Nice pick again. Langley does that to perfection. You see Kinnear come out, he jams up Dawson, and that allows the shot to come from that far side. So the too many men on the floor penalty, a costly one to the Peterborough Lakers. Matthews, here comes Matthews making his way to the crease, he scores! The mailman delivers the big one, it's 6-4, Langley. The big man, Matthews, doing big things out there, using his size, using his reach, an incredible swim move to blow by the defender, and then he tiptoes that crease line. Watch how close he is to going in the crease. His foot just a step outside as he's driving full speed towards the net and getting hit. That is hard to do, and Matthews picks up the fourth goal here for the Lakers. They're down by two. Hazen, out in front, Katoni scores! And just like that, it's 6-5. The tenth goal of the series for Holden Katoni, and it's a big one. Bringing the Lakers within one with just over two minutes left to go in the first period. Langley with a great opportunity at the other end. And then the Lakers respond on their very next possession. Holden Katoni on the run, going far side with that heavy wow. shot. What a pick by Austin Hazen. And th those things sometimes go unnoticed. The game happens so quick, but... Hogarth, Vitarelli, across, Rezateris to Matthews. He Six, six, at Lock and Lansdowne. Mark Matthews is having himself a game. Two goals this period, and both of them. Big goals, this one tying things up. Watch this rocket of a shot from the outside. Shiliano gets a piece of it, but it trickles through. What a dish from Fitarelli at the side of the crease to get that going. Evans over to Matthews. Matthews across. Here's a shot. They score. Joe Rezic Terrace. The Lakers have taken a 7 6 lead. And I believe Sean Evans picked up an assist on that goal. And now he'll become just the second player in Canadian lacrosse history to have 200 points in a Man Cup. What a pass by Matthews to get it across the floor. And Sean Evans now three points back of tying John Tavares on that all-time Man Cup points list. Kenier, he works one-on-one. -on -one. Now he's double teamed. Somebody's got to be open, and that is Robinson. He scores. He fires one past Vince, and it's 7-7. Seven seven. Tempers flaring, and we got some penalties coming up. It's Hutton had his helmet ripped off there, so I think he's going to head to the box as well. As whoever ripped his helmet off. Looked like it was Eric Moss. But the big story on that play is this goal from the captain. And the
Langley Thunder are within one. A great play once again by Kinnear. He's having a game for the Thunder. He makes the dish out to the top, and there's the berry from Robinson. Hazen to Evans. Evans across, quick stick, they score! Finarelli! How many times have we seen that before? Finarelli from Evans. And the Lakers are out in front. And Sean Evans now just two points away of tying John Tavares on that all-time Man Cup points list. And it's only fitting that it's a pass over to his buddy, his former Minto Cup teammate from the Junior Lakers 2006 squad. And they execute that play perfectly. Matthews with a fake. Passes it over to Reza Terrace. Reza Terrace rolling. Dishes, shot, score! Goal for Holden Katoni as the Lakers continue to roll. Joe Rezateritz doing a great job bringing his man down low. That creates a little bit of an opening there for that shot to come through. And the Lakers enjoying this four on four. A couple back to back goals. Matthews fakes now to Katoni. Backhand feed. Matthews out in front. They score. Joe Rezateritz. The Lakers have hit double digits. Mark Matthews will pick up his fifth point of the game with that assist. Great ball movement from the Peterborough Lakers. And then Joe Rezateritz with the finish. Nice little backhand flip from Holden Katoni. And then Matthews, just a perfect pass across the floor through the defenders. And it's a three-goal game now, 10-7 Lakers. Abbott for the Thunder. And Doby. Got some room to shoot. He scores. Doby. A low shot beating Vince. And that closes the gap to 10-8. What a quick response by the Thunder. The very next possession after that Lakers goal, the Langley Thunder go back the other way. And Matt Vince will have to shake that one off. Lakers still up by two as we take another look. A low shot going into that bottom corner, beating Vince. Rested Terrence, Katoni backhand flip, Matthews fires, he scores on the power play. It's 11-8, Peterborough. That's the hat trick goal for Mark Matthews to go along with three helpers. And who else? Holden Katoni getting another assist. That backhand flip pass that he does so perfectly to get that over to Matthews. This time, instead of dishing across the floor, Matthews just takes the shot and buries it. And now it's going to be played by Robinson. Another reset for the Thunder. Trailing 11 8 here. Under three to go. Shot, they score. Dixon beats Vince. That's a big goal for the Thunder. Gets them back to within a couple now. I don't even know how Dixon got that shot off. It looked like he was all tied up. Looks like his arm was being pulled back and somehow he breaks through traffic and then drops in that little underhand shot of his. And you can see Ian Lord right in front of him. He has the stick out. He's holding Dixon's arm so that he can't wind up. Dixon doesn't need a wind up though. He just unloads. They're going to try and play for the final shot. And here comes Dixon. He scores. Curtis Dixon over the shoulder of Matt Vince. And the Langley Thunder are within one as they score on a power play goal with only five and a half seconds to go here in the period. He couldn't have placed it any better. Quick release. Unbelievably accurate. Put it exactly where he wanted to. 
Thunder came up with a good offensive play during the timeout as well. Dixon. Here's Robert Hope. Shot by Church. He scores. Not a power play goal officially, but not sure Hope was back in the play yet, and it's 11-11. Yeah, it looked like he was still outside, just the four defenders in that box. You can see Dixon right there. He looks. He knows they have to start moving the ball quick, and you'll see a better look. Hope way out of the play, so not officially a power play goal, but might as well have been at that point. Great play by Dixon to look behind him, no hope was coming, and to get that offense moving quicker. Yeah, smart player, no doubt about that. On the shoulder for blocking that shot. Evans with a swim move. Shot Evans, backhand pass, Thomas Hogar scores! What a beauty! Highlight real material, the Lakers have taken a 12-11 lead. And that was the Lakers' first goal in almost 18 minutes. Sean Evans getting it done, a nice little backhand flip, and then Thomas Hogarth with the finish right at the top of the crease. And with that assist, Sean Evans is now one point behind John Tavares on that all-time Man Cup points list. You can smell that record being caught. To Matisse, Matisse to Catoni, take Catoni. Oh, he misses wide, picks up his own loose ball, and he scores! Points to the crowd and gives the Lakers a 13-11 lead. Tate Catoni certainly knows how to get the crowd into it. He always has a great selly for the fans right after. You see Mark Matthews getting it going. He gets the dish, and then Catoni misses with that first shot, but he stays with the ball. He doesn't even hesitate. He knows the ball is missing, goes right towards the wall, gets it off the one bounce, stays out of the crease and buries it. Joe Russell Terrence goes to the goal. He's got Matisse. Matisse waits, shoots, scores! <laughs> Kyle Matisse. You can never have enough. Kyle McTees, he's got a couple options there on the two on one. And he just hangs onto it, makes yeah. one fake. And then Shiliano loses his footing. And he's got the wide open cage. Nice little dish from the yep. edge of the crease too. He could have shot that. Here's Curtis Dixon. Coming in, Dolby shoots, he scores! A power play goal as Langley takes advantage of the too many men call, and that gets them to within two. Just 14 seconds into the man advantage, still lots of game left. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Down by two. Great passing play once again by the Thunder. And then the Barry through the middle, right under Mad Vince's arm. Sweeting to Hope. And here comes, here's Sean Evans. Evans coming in. Evans to the assist, scores. There it is. Sean Evans. Picks up the assist on the empty net goal. And with that assist, Sean Evans has tied John Tavares on the all-time Man Cup points list, and he's done it in seven less games. You can take a series lead tomorrow night. It should be a dandy. We'll be back with your post-game show. Coming up after this, you're watching a very heated Man Cup on your TV.